Entering Oshu Oshobo Sacred Grove is like getting into a different world altogether. And why is that so? Numerous artwork all over the place give the feeling that this enclave is in a world of its own. Carefully made sculptural works are all over the place, all depicting the sacredness of the Oshu Oshobo Grove. From works depicting messengers of Oshu to several other works symbolic of answered prayers and the sacredness of the vicinity. One woman is responsible for the numerous artwork you see everywhere in Oshoshobo Grove. And that woman is Susan Wenger. Susan Wenger was an Austrian popularly known as Adumi Orisha. Susan was born in Grazia, a town in southern Austria. At a very early age, she was drawn to nature and spent a lot of her time in the woods and mountains around her town. Susan preserved the Oshu Oshobo sacred grove by creating several sculptural images that depicted the sacredness of Oshu deity. Okay. Her works turned the Osho Shobo Grove into a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Susan came to Nigeria in 1949 with her husband, Ulibie, and settled in Oshobo in 1960, where she later became a priestess of the Yoruba deity before her death. 
in 2009 at the age of 93. <laughs> After she became a priestess of Osho, Susan dedicated her life to providing sculptural works that eventually made the Osho Sacred Grove an international tourist center. Her works in the entire group are indeed classic. <laughs> The house where Susan lived in Oshobo, Oshu State, Nigeria, has since become a tourist site. I traveled to Oshobo, and while in that city, I visited Susan Venga's house. Susan's contributions in preserving the sacredness of the Osho Shobo group will forever be remembered.
ani e ba mi pe o Oh, my God. 